Okay, everyone, here I am back. I'm not sure how well this is going to work, but I really need to finish this on creating your own reality and what's going on with this shift. It's really, really important. Um, some big pieces have happened astrologically, and they've been going on for actually years, these interconnected pieces. And there's pieces that go clear back into the 1920s, the 1890s, stellar movements that are lining up at this time. And we're moving through this with this dissonance and the dissonance coming on. And I had talked about the car accident on the earlier part of this video and the fact that someone else was driving. And it took me a while to figure out that I had let someone else take control in certain areas of my life. And they were in no position to be in any kind of control of my life whatsoever. And that I needed to pay attention to look at the loops, to look at the cycles, to realize where catastrophes happened just when things were going really, really well, and boom, there's a car accident. Things are going really, really well, and boom, money disappears out of your bank. Uh, I had a check stolen uh, by I five bandits, is what they call them, and they were washing checks and running a meth operation. It was really huge. They did get busted. I didn't lose my money for long, but it was like, ooh, how am I not in control? What am I not aware of? And it was about really putting myself in charge of what I wanted my life to look like. And it was a being about, about being accountable for what I had stated I would be responsible for to really, truly walk my talk to the point where a lot of the loops went away, and then I had to look deeper, which is why I created um, and continue to make changes to Ancient Powers 1, Ancient Powers 2, and Ancient Powers 3 reactivations. And they do pull us out to where we can see this so much better. We have so much better tools and such a greater control over what's going on once the jet is straightened. It's a completely different uh, position in what what we actually can perceive it's really great um and the new Semitali class that's coming out which allows us to get rid of pieces deprogram empty the subconscious while we're reprogramming it short circuit it's <laughs> two three three two anyway um and it's really awesome this is going to be a very bumpy ride as we start integrating things from choices we didn't make but would have made if we'd have had the perspective we have now because we actually just made a shift into the one of those realities a great many of us some of us are just remembering things that we can't believe happened we didn't remember it for such a long time because Past, present, and future are always in now, and we are beginning to pull from a different past. And it's going to give us a different type of strength. But remember, living the loops, or with your head straightened, doing the work you're doing, where you pay attention, the type of energy that you're sending out, doesn't really matter as much as you're paying attention, you're sending energy out, you're engaged, so you're feeding that pattern. Good, bad, or indifferent, you're feeding the pattern. Remember this. We are having a chance right now for great big redos. We didn't get it right the first time. Maybe didn't get it right the second time. But to understand and really take charge and line up with what we've made things seem to be.
shift your focus. Shift your perspective. Pay attention to where your attention's really going. And hopefully, this little electronic snafu that actually seems to be happening between Chrome and Facebook, um, hopefully that'll get over real soon. Never cry, everyone. And uh, DM me if you're interested in the classes. The Simitawi is filling up real fast. Um, the 31st. I'm going to be making some time changes for a few people that are following classes. Okay.